Pisces to your February 24th through the 28th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new, welcome, welcome. And cross watchers, of course. Starting over here, we have the travel card going on. Okay, this is talking about the possibilities of a relocation at this time. Or if you're buying a new house, right? Traveling to go see someone, moving to another city entirely, moving, you know, just however it is. Um, it also could be talking also about a new job or transformation. Mostly this is actually talking about actually moving. I actually feel movement in this more than transformation. It could be due to a transformation, that is for sure, because of the intuition manifestation card. So it could have something to do with both. I am, you know aware of the situation and I'm taking on this, it would be the death card for sure, right? I understand what's going on. Okay, so I am releasing and moving away. <laughs> Could even be just taking a break from the negativity, right? But it definitely feels like there, for a lot of you, it's actually moving, moving. If you know you're not really moving, then it's just, you know, metaphorical movement as in moving and traveling away from anything what deceptive this negative energy this negative person because your heart knows what's going on <laughs> like you don't even have to see them talking behind you or being deceptive you already know it right but there is something that you're not 100 percent aware of okay and that's okay and it just feels like more like i'm not sure kind of a not sure yet, right? But the deception card over here is talking about the betrayal and manipulation within a situation, right? Somebody it does not have your heart's interest, right? You could be giving your heart away to someone that you just feel is just definitely working against you or is, you know, and just every time I'm giving my heart to this person or I give everything I have at this job, they just don't see my interest. They don't see my hard work. Could be a friend, a family member, a love. Okay. So whatever issue it is, it's like, like I said, it's either I'm moving away from them in the physical taking action. But no matter what it is, it's definitely I'm getting out of this situation. Okay. Moving away from their negativity. Um, not letting them induce this fear, this worry inside me anymore. I'm done with it. I'm done with the worry, the anxieties that they're giving me. I'm done with the negative feedback. I'm done with the negative. I'm done with them not giving the love back. I put in too much hard work and too much of my heart and soul into a situation, no matter what it is, and I'm getting nothing in return. And underneath the deception is <laughs> taking back your power. And this is where you're taking back your power. You're putting yourself in the control. You're, you're in the front seat. You're in the driver's wheel, not them. That's why I said you literally might be packing your bags and actually bailing. <laughs> Emptying out my work desk, I'm done. Right. With the intuition over here underneath the not worried about you anymore, um, this card is talking about the disconnect. Something feels disconnected within your senses. Not sure exactly where the future might hold at this time, um, but, but you're in your present power and it's almost like, you know what, I'm frustrated, I'm out of balance, I'm off center, I'm not sure where I'm going or how I might get there, but I'm, get, I'm, but I'm leaving. It could be a very difficult um, situation right now to get clear exactly where you're you're putting all your energy and what you're doing you might just be packing your bag and living in your car for a minute right or a motel or with a friend who knows right and that's just because you just took the leap of faith and you jumped I'm done I might not even have a backup job but I don't care okay but you're making sure that you're bringing the joy into everything that you're doing that was the whole point, right? That's the whole point. I'm not living without the joy in my life. 
You're sucking the joy right out of it. Sucking the fun right out of it. Sucking out my life force. That's really what it feels like. If you're giving your heart and soul to everything, my friends, and they're just sucking the life out of you, yeah, it's, you know, especially for you, Pisces, because, you know, you give and you give from your heart. You put in a lot of hard work and a lot of effort into everything that you do, because if you really didn't love, then you wouldn't be there to begin with. And if it's a person, once you say you love, you truly love. It's not like a Pisces is just going to run and be around and just be like, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, okay? It's not the way a water sign works. I've never seen any water sign work like that. It takes trust. And when a water sign loves, they love from the bottom of their heart and they put everything that they have into the situation. Unless they're, you know, cross watcher, unless they're manipulating one and they want you, to, you know, they're playing around with you. Right? Now that can go for anyone. <clears throat> But we're talking about true blue Pisces over here. We're not talking about no players and any of that. Unless you know Cross Watcher, it's them who's playing you. Could be a possibility. Not everybody is good. Okay, but we have the past resentment. Having the desire to reconcile. So look, this has been something that happened before. This isn't something that's new. I've seen you do this to me many times. Maybe they do have the desire to want to come and reconcile, but then they turn around and play the same games. So this for you is more like making the amends with yourself for all the things that are going, you know, that are going on. You're putting your, your swords down because you're saying, you know what, you always take my swords away. You always play games in my head. You always do this. You always do that. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but I'm done and I'm done of you talking crap behind my back manipulating me, making me feel horrible, however it is, when all I do is give. <clears throat> Deceiving me no matter what. And guess, you know, and what's this up, right side up, guys? Conflict, disagreements, right? So, yes, underneath the fear is like, this is where I'm getting rid of my worry and my, you know, and everything that, that I feel like is going on with my life, where you put me in this dark place. You, you make me feel restless, unfocused, burn me out. I feel like I have no direction. That's kind of interesting because you have the intuition that's clarifying on the fear over here, which just says I really don't know what direction I'm kind of going in right now. I'm just kind of jumping. They have no disregard for their consequences, guys, and you know that, and that's why you're just like kind of jump, right? And I don't mean jumping to, con you know, to conclusions. I mean, you're jumping, bailing, right? Okay, so on the present power over here, it's like this speedy, rapid message is going to come in. It may even come in today. It might even be a little bit from the past. Everybody's energy is a little different. Your past could be someone's present or someone's near future. It might not even come until like the 26th. But however it is, um... There's going to be this quick decision. Look at that air travel. Travel. You might jump on some airplane and say, you know what, I'm out. I'm going to mom and dad's. I'm done. Um, but this is a swift change, swift movement. You might have a message that's coming in for this movement in this travel. Um, or it just could be just you just bouncing hard. Um, I'm gone. Speedy out. Like Speedy Gonzalez. That's what I was thinking of this little mouse. Pew. Got my bag. I'm leaving. Um, it's something you just thought of quick. And like I said, you might even have a message where they're like, yeah, you can come stay on my couch. I got a comfy couch, whatever. Any kind of quick movement. But it doesn't matter. You have the control. You have the power. And, you know, even though you don't really know what the future outcome is of this situation, because it's, see, that's why, because it's so fast, right? Um, it's, it's okay, though, right? Because you still have the courage and the confidence. Well, of course you do. You're in your present power. So it's almost to the point where you're like, you know what? It doesn't even matter what the real future really holds at this time. I'm not going to really worry about it. I just need to get the zest of life back. I need to get my life force back. Right? This is where I have to get super determined, super independent, and just get focused and get out of this energy, get out of this house, get away from this person, get out of this work, get away from these friends, whatever it is. Right? <clears throat> 
right? Because you have to avoid more conflict after conflict after conflict. And, you know, and it causes conflict within yourself, so you have to release that energy as well, right? For some of you, you might have been saving money for quite a while, getting ready to bounce and just waiting for that message, waiting for that time, waiting for the perfect timing, taking control over your money, your security. And maybe that's why you are so confident for some of you, because you've been saving, you've been waiting. You knew this time was coming and you wanted to make sure that you had the security and the savings going. You're not going to just bounce and be poor, <laughs> right? Some of you might though. Um, if it, if it is that situation, um, it's okay though, right? Because you're going to be balanced. You're going to find the control. You'll be fine. But it shows you'll be fine anyway. So even if you guys aren't don't have any saved money, or maybe you're using your saved money, right? However it is, you know that you're going to be okay, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, because look, this is the risk that you know you're going to take. It's almost a blind faith move, um, right? Because you trust in yourself. You trust in the new beginning. So it does feel like a spontaneous movement where it's like, I'm just going to leap and take the leap of faith and wherever the hell I land, it's got to be better than where I am now, right? Like seriously, and I'm right there with you. It's just like, he, he's got his little bag packed and he's just like, I got to go. I'm going to jump off this mountain and you know what? It don't matter because I have this self-confidence and everything that I need within myself to say, you know what? You're going to fly, <clears throat> right? The flying is the freedom. Fly away from this place. Okay. And yeah, the overall message for you is the Ace of Pentacles literally having the abundance, guys, literally knowing where you're going. Some of you have actually manifested, like I said, you've actually been, um, might have been planning this for a little bit, even though it's kind of crazy because you still don't have any idea of how it's going to actually work out. Maybe it's because you've only been planning it for a week. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if the shit's really getting bad and you're like, oh, that's it. I'm taking money out of the bank. I've got my pillow money. I got my stuff. I'm packing my bag. I'm out. Um, but however it is, it's, you know, you have a new career, new financial opportunities coming. Um, you know, you will get there. You're doing it for yourself to be prosperous. Uh, you know, it's, yeah, you're going places. You're going to go find your own home, your own life, a place of celebration and happiness, a place where you don't have to put up with this shit. I don't care if it's work. It doesn't matter what it is away from your family. If it's a family member, maybe your brother's driving you crazy. Maybe they, you know, who, whatever, who and whatever, right? But you're going to release the baggage of this deception and this trash, kind of like throw it in the water on your way and leaving it all behind so that you can transition for your better tomorrow. And I mean, you know, seriously, you guys may, you know, if you're in a really bad relationship, maybe you're sick and tired of your boyfriend, girlfriend manipulating you, maybe you found someone else too, or you're going to find someone else, who knows, Ace of Pentacles might be getting out of a, a terrible marriage, right, but it's like, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm taking the leap of faith, and uh, I'll see you on the other side, but at least the other side has the Ace of Pentacles, so, it doesn't mean it won't be a rough journey, right, I've never said that, but what we did say was, the overall is that you're going to be okay, could be rough, you know, depending on how you're doing it and what you're doing, obviously. But uh, in the end, you're going to get that peace of mind and that freedom that you that you know that you need, however it is. Um, always look for the good over the most difficult situations. Wow, see that the healing deal, healing card even just said it. Don't worry, you know what? Some days might not be as good um, as you're gone and you're doing what you're doing, but. In the overall, always look for the good because the good will over overtake the bad always, right? But look, you got, you're trusting within this situation. You know, right? You know what's what you're doing. Like I said, even though it could be some spontaneous out of the blue thing. Um, and for some of you, it's really crazy because I do feel like if you're in a really, I don't know what this is, a really bad marriage or a really bad, bad job, the good is really going to overtake the bad in this situation. You really will free yourself from whatever this this situation is. 
I mean, some of you might even be returning back to mom and dad, right? Because I just can't deal with it anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah, finding a better job with a better boss, however. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.